If you have any reputation out there, it, it's probably known as a very pragmatic leader and as a very, um, by the numbers, executive. I, are you surprised by the, the lack of information that is being put forth by the insurance industry today in terms of just really how much they're paying out and what, they're, what they um, are being reimbursed by the MCCA? The word transparency does not exist in their lexicon. There's no question that uh, they want to keep all their calculations, uh, all the assumptions they use when, when they calculate uh, uh, the payout and the liabilities and exposure, uh, confidential. And, and they actually told, uh, one of my guys was in a meeting when uh, the insurance commissioner, I think his name was Clinton, uh, said to Kevin the- Kevin Clinton, the insurance commissioner. Right. And who basically oversees his fund, even though it's, it, it, the fund is technically owned by the drivers in the state of Michigan, it still has to be administered by somebody. And uh, so we asked to see the variables uh, upon which you make these actuarial assumptions that the fund will go broke in 25 years. And it was this guy Clinton uh, who condescendingly said, it's really too complicated for you, you wouldn't understand it. Really? <laughs> is that how we keep public information uh, private so the public can't see how these calculations are in fact formulated? I just tell us, you're too stupid. To, to understand what we do, and therefore we're going to continue to do it our way, and you don't need the facts. Well, that's not the way it's done. In fact, uh, the, the fund managers were sued by um, a group. Uh, I don't have. I do have in my notes here. The Coalition Protection. Yes, the Coalition. And the brain injury. And they won in, in, in the in the circuit court up in Ingham County, uh, and the judge there said, "Give them the numbers. They're entitled to know." So now, of course, they're on appeal, right. which stalls us getting the numbers. But, I, know, I can give them to you. Yeah, if please like. do. And that was a, one of the gentlemen who wrote, I think, a letter to the Cranes. I got it right in front of me. Uh, don't ignore no fault. I call it uh, his letter. Shamelessly self-serving. <laughs> That's what it was. Uh, I have no idea what, what brought about the change. Uh, he, I, I don't know the man. I have no idea what drives him. But uh, I've got it here where he's all over me because of my letter to Cranes. And um, or Cranes wrote an editorial, and he's all over the editorial writer at Cranes for, for supporting our side saying, be careful, don't go forward until you see the numbers. And that, that's all we're asking for. But they're not producing the numbers. No, no, they're not. Of course not. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it, it sounds like no fault is, is, in your opinion, you've studied the issue. It's good for Oakland County. It's good for jobs. It's good for Michigan.